Hi, it's Alabama Annie with another episode of Stories and Songs for you. Today you're going to hear a tale set in 1927, the year of the great Mississippi flood, and it's set in, in Arkansas along the banks of the mighty Mississippi River. And it's about a tornado that came when all those rains came and busted down the levees and caused all that chaos for everyone. But it's a tale about money falling from the sky. A storm was brewing down south and the threat of high winds, flooding, and heavy rains had everyone on edge in the Mississippi Delta. Most folks recall that just a year before, a line of severe storms had torn up half the town and caused the deaths of several people. Everyone had battened down the hatches and were hunkered down indoors when the storm arrived, sitting huddled together, listening to the winds howl and the rattle of loose tin on the roof. Out the windows, they could see the trees whipping like wild things, announcing that there could be a tornado nearby. And indeed, there was a twister. It gathered strength. It traveled across the sky like a finger of God, tearing everything into splinters in its path. It destroyed the general store, sending rakes and hoes and lumber and stacks of seed and into the air, dropping them here and there across the countryside. In the next town, the storm destroyed the First National Bank and loan, ripping the old building to shreds taking money, bags, banknotes, documents, and cold hard cash up into the air on the turbulent winds. Some of the banknotes and cash drifted down to the ground, and some of the money bags lodged in trees, their green contents falling down to the earth like manna from heaven. Sixty miles north of the storm, a woman went out to see if she could put up her chickens before the storm arrived. She could tell it was coming and hurried along as fast as she could, shooing her hens toward the coop when suddenly the winds began to blow, whipping the trees and what she thought at first were falling leaves was instead green money. She let out a whoop when she saw 50 and $20 bills scattered at her feet as one of her chickens pecked at one of them. She forgot about the chickens right then and raced across the barnyard gathering up the money. Down at the depot, Davy Mills sat beside the tracks of the St. Louis Railroad reading a letter he'd received from home, fretting and worrying over the bad news it brought. His mother said the bank was going to foreclose on the farm and pleaded with him to come home and help her raise $500. But his pockets were empty and times were hard. His search for work across this big land had come to an end. There were too many others like him on the streets in those days, so that he'd taken to riding the rails, standing in soup lines, and doing what odd jobs he could just to survive. There he was, sitting beside the tracks in the rain with his lucky nickel in his pocket and no money to buy a ticket home. He glanced at the railroad yard and the boxcars and thought he could try his luck at hopping one of those cars again, but the railroad detectives had been working overtime lately busting everybody they could along the way. Davy squeezed that nickel in his hand and prayed, feeling rain dripping down on his neck as the winds picked up and the lightning flashed in the distance, and he watched the storm come and just closed his eyes, praying for a way to get home. Just then, as the winds picked up, something brushed his shoulder, perhaps a leaf from the tree he was sitting under for shelter. He let go that nickel in his pocket and opened his eyes, and then, as if the good Lord had heard him, a twenty-dollar bill fell right there at his feet, and then another, and another, until he found himself surrounded by over five hundred dollars. Wow. Davy began to dance around and sing in the rain like a crazy man as he heard the train approaching. A woman rushed past him with a potato sack full of money in her arms, giving him a wide berth. She watched him with amusement as she ran for her shelter. When she was gone, he gathered up all the cash from the ground and tucked it into his pocket, keeping a twenty in his hand. He looked up at the sky and said, Thank you, Lord. And then, smiling, he walked to the depot with his head held high and bought himself a ticket home. Now the farm would be saved, 
and he could see his mother, and someday Davy would tell his grandchildren about the day that money fell from the sky. So there we have it. I'm going to play you a little short song about a train. Hope you've enjoyed this. See you again soon.